Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. We have reached the eighth and final night of the eight breaks of Hanukkah 2021. It has been bigger and better than ever, as promised. We have ripped a lot of stuff. We had great PC pulls, awesome inserts, lots of rookie cards. Of course, we did get whammied multiple time on pitcher autos, but what are you going to do? Them's the breaks. We close it out with serious shine because we all know everything is better in Chrome. And we do something new. We feel the bullpen squad tonight. Never done it before in the eight breaks. And we have three gentlemen here who had long and successful careers in Major League Baseball. Starting off with the prognosticator Steve Stone in one of my all-time favorite sets, 1972 tops. A Cy Young winner and legendary broadcaster. We've got Ken Holtzman, three-time world champion, multi-time all-star in a really nice 69 tops with a pretty solid pink shade on the back. Not quite first printing pink, but solid. And then Joe Ginsburg, not a superstar, but a long career. And anybody that can stick around in the big leagues for a long time, you got to give them props. So uh, as we kick into it, we're going to start with the Chrome Mega Box, and then we're going to work into the uh, Chrome Light Hobby Box. While these gents get to the dugout this evening, Harry, you know what to do. All right, we have the packs ready. I am really enjoying Hanukkah Harry out in the truck, throwing in some nice quick cuts, speeding up the show for us. Uh, and I'm loving the title cards. So we know now that if we pull any sweet, sweet cards and we don't really know about the odds, we're going to have a title card laid in there. Give us all the in, in, uh, instant information. Uh, makes everything so much speedier and more fun uh, for all of us, me doing it, you at home. So let's get into it. A little first pack fire, I hope. The Lucky Cup is in the box. You have not disappointed other than no monster, so maybe tonight in the last night you can deliver us a biggie. As always, check the description below for the link to the Clary's Goldberg Scholarship. If you see cards you like, they can be yours. Nice Rizzo. Cameron Maben, Giancarlo, lo, look how far he hit that ball. Oh, big puppy. We all love ripping chrome. I mentioned it before, still wondering. Oops, look, we got some color. Oh, no, no, just a numbers game. Uh, that I did pre-order a Ginter chrome hobby box, so I'm hoping that shows up and we'll get to rip it before too long. Oh, there we go. I got a couple of these, actually. Number two, Derek Jeter. Number two. It was really fun to pull multiple Jeters uh, out of the Stadium Club box on the seventh night. Uh, it was interesting, I got to admit, and you sort of saw it in the title cards, that we didn't get any numbered cards. We actually didn't get any, like, monster. The Aaron Judge uh, was probably the biggest hit, which is a sweet. I mean, as a PC player, it was awesome. Hashtag gave me for the PC. Uh, that was great, but yeah, it would have been cool to get a number, you know, something kind of big. One of those, like, one and you know, many thousand packs. Nice, Jordan. And Pete Alonzo. But yeah, we didn't get any, so I don't know, I, I don't think it was a dud box at all, because the inserts were nice, and we got Double Jeter, Double Judge, but I don't know, let me know if you think it should have had a numbered card, because I feel like a hobby box should have at least one numbered card. All right, nice, Jordan. I did love this, the decades next, 2020. I don't think I pulled Jordan. Nice, shine, dig the shine. I got a hundred of these. So many people sent me that Robbie Cano card. I actually was never a huge Robinson Cano fan, even before the PEDs and getting traded and all that. I just, he wasn't one of my favorite players. And I think using the PEDs and getting caught twice pretty much ruined his career. Or a chance at being, you know, somebody that could have been a Hall of Famer. He was throwing up great numbers, but could have been because of the PED use. All right, a couple of nice rookies. Can't really poo-poo getting rookie cards. Can we get a nice hit, though? Lucky Cup, a numbered card. I believe Ichiro's got to be getting on the Hall of Fame ballot soon. Chipper Jones, Brock Holt, 
Kyle Lewis rookie debut. I think I pulled a Kyle Lewis virtual reality card uh, in the Hobby Box of Stadium Club as well. And that is, they're only about 1 in 19 packs, I want to say. Uh, but, you know, as a, a rookie card, or was that second year, I guess? Pretty nice. Hopefully he can uh, have a nice 2022. Trout and Joey Votto. So again, no numbered cards, no hit at all actually out of that mega box. That is a little odd. Usually Chrome Update has a little something, but I don't have anything, nothing extra thick jumping out. Don't believe I missed anything. All right. Harry, uh, Hanukkah Harry out in the truck. Why don't we throw a cut in here and we'll come back with all the packs out of the Chrome Light Hobby Box. Look at that. I mean, that just looks like a lot of fun. Ooh, I believe 16 packs, I want to say, in the Chrome Light Hobby Box. No guaranteed auto as far as I know. Uh, yeah, 16 packs. Uh, but we'll see if there's any autos. Usually, you know, in a regular Chrome Hobby Box, you do get guaranteed autos. But I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure, uh, actually, not sure, pretty sure, blah, 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 uh, that they don't have that same kind of odds. Got my beast whining in the background. All right, first pack fire. Do we have any first pack fire? Is it in us? Oh, ooh. That look sparkly. Maybe we did get some first pack fire. Actually, that looks like a refractor. Yeah, so I don't, what is this? Oh, maybe this is just the, uh, the you, these are the special, the black and white speckle that you get out of there. Very cool, though, Yon Mankata. That is really sharp. I see why those were popular. I watched a few Light Hobby Box breaks when I saw those. Yeah, very nice stuff. I think we're going to have to have a sip out of the Lucky Cup here, though, because it likes to be in use, and we have not had... A great break so far. There's an auto. Kaboom! Pack drop. It's not a pitcher. Brent Rooker. Very sparkly. A little surprised to see the two sparkles, although I did kind of mix the packs up coming out of the box. An okay autograph. I want to take a second there and look at it. An okay autograph. We will throw in a title card on what the odds are on getting an auto out of one of those spectacle cards. Well, maybe you get one in every pack. I thought maybe three per box, but it would be awesome if it was one in every pack. Dalton Varsho. I've talked about him in the past. Nice. William Contreras. Josh, don't be a hater. More Clark Schmidt. I believe that's the third or fourth time Clark Schmidt has made an appearance here in the eight breaks of Hanukkah. A very, very cool subset, though, with these sparklies like that. I like it. All right, Lucky Cup. I, I talked a little trash, and you delivered an auto, and it, at least it wasn't a pitcher. We've got to give you credit for it not being a pitcher this time around. So I guess those were the three sparklies. Well, you got them all out of the way early. Sam Huff, Eloy, Joe Adele, 86 Refractor. We will cover up Mike Trout just because he was injured. And that, that card isn't as cool as the Joe Adele there. Longoria, Altuve, more Max Kepler. Thought about having him in the outfield this year, but he has been there multiple times in the past. And like I said uh, last night, I wanted to have uh, three new faces. Oh, more Jordan. Those are really, really sharp. All the stars shine. Get your shades on, people. I told you, we close it out with the shine. Everything is better in chrome. Ooh, Casey Mize. 
Another 86 rookie card. I'm waiting to see Casey Mize do some stuff because I've pulled a lot of his rookie cards as well. Are you a believer? And Ryan Mountcastle. Big old Ryan Mountcastle. That's, that's not too shabby either. Those Orioles, someday, someday they will be good. It was like Cal Ripken came up, they won the World Series, and then that was it. Never to be good again. I think they made the playoffs a couple of years, but nothing crazy. No long, long runs, no deep playoff runs. Corey Seager. Del Is that the second Dallas Keuchel refractor? Didn't we already pull that card? Or was that out of the 20? Look at that. Shenanigans. Oh, we had to close with some shenanigans. Double Dallas Keuchel refractor. That is obviously bad quality control at tops. Collation shenanigans. But if someone out there wants a Dallas Keuchel refractor, I know that uh, Francisco Santiago is a Chicago fan, Cubs and White Sox. Also, we have Russ Jackson. So someone let me know who wants the Dallas Keuchel refractor. I will send it to one of you, or maybe someone new will chime in and say, I am a huge White Sox fan. Send me that Dallas Keuchel. That AJ Puck, Adonis Medina looks like a refractor as well. Oh, yeah. If that was a, an autograph, I would have lost my mind. So we're getting a nice uh, batch of refractors. Again, PC hit, baby. I did sort of, I was mentioning it. It was about the sixth night where I was like, where are my Aaron Judge cards? We've seen some base and that's it. And then we had the big hit last night. And here we have a very nice refractor. Don't have this one. So very pleased about that. Would have liked a slightly better photograph. I mean, you've got such a cool design there. You may as well pick a, a image that you're really, really happy with. Oh, no, more Speckle. I'm just calling them Speckle. Maybe I'll lay in a title card. Hanukkah Harry will lay in a title card of what they're actually called. Kyle Lewis. Eugenio Suarez. A lot of Reds have been making appearances through the eight breaks. I don't know what that's about. I always feel like sometimes you get like a regional kind of box where they're like, okay, you know, you're in the Midwest, so we're going to give you a lot of Chicago, you know, Ohio, that kind of thing. But I'm on the West Coast, so it shouldn't matter. And I order from Tops, like it's just random, but I keep getting these somewhat regional kind of boxes. Nick Solak. We've got new rangers, old rangers, young rangers, all kinds of rangers. Now that they, they've got their new ballpark and they spent all that money, I'm sure the fans are like, we are ready to win. All Jewish team member Dean Kramer. I mentioned that uh, Sean Tiefer, the chosen roster, he pointed out to me that I passed this guy over in the Stadium Club Chrome box. I did not know he was Jewish. He did pitch for the Israeli national team. So here we go. Didn't miss him this time. Dean Kramer. Kaboom. Mini pack drop for the Tata Refractor. Ha. Love it. That. That's some nice shine right there. Ooh, baby. You're going to get a stand, Tata. Why? Because Tati says Tata ball. Oh, yeah. So we got another. We Last night and tonight, pretty solid PC player boxes, insert wise. I'm sure the refractors are one in every pack, maybe one in every two packs. We got a prism. Oh, and the Cronut. I think the Cronut might go out of his mind next year. For, you know, he had a full season in the show. He, he played really well in the shortened 60-game sprint. But, uh, yeah, he is really coming into his own as a ball player. Because he's, like, a little older. He's not a, a child. Ooh, and an Eloy Prism. 
Really, really nice. All right, Lucky Cup. You ain't playing on the last night of the eight breaks of Hanukkah. Some nice cards here. Ooh, there's some color. There's a little numbered action. About time. I'm not even going to save it. We're, we're going to get it right here. Oh, nice, Ronald. Can you, so this is the one I believe, uh, like a hawk mentioned to me, that in the holiday box, it's like he's on a sled sliding through the snow. Uh, I did look for a holiday box, could not find one. So not sure if I'll get a 2020. Ooh, looks like a Yankee. Garrett Cole. Prismic Power. Really cool subset. Man, that is some nice shine right there. A lot of color. I dig that. All right, and this is another red Shogo Akeyama, and it is at a three ninety nine. A lot of reds, like I said. I don't know. It's like regional somehow, but with Tatis and Judge and Eloy, I'm not too worried about our numbered card being a, a Cincinnati red. All right, Ben Intendi. Big Austin Riley. <laughs> this card cracks me up. I'm thinking, ooh, look at that. I'm thinking Austin Riley, perpetual all-star. Just going to be there for a while. So this is, oh, like a hawk. I think that has your name written all over it. Ooh, it almost looks three-dimensional. That is sharp. Let's cover up Ryan Mountcastle with that action. And Mama Moki! Really cool. Well, I, I like that you get a lot of these black and white speckle cards. It makes the, the, the hobby the hobby box light worth it. And I did get this off of tops, so I didn't overpay for it. Ozuna. Kirsch. More Tatis! Yes! Now, if one of these was numbered, that would have been it. Like, we'd have been so content with the eight breaks, even though our autos haven't been spectacular. So we had double the Judge, double the Jeter, and now we got double the Tata. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, last. Do we even need last pack mojo? Because this is pretty solid. Lucky cup. Everybody, give you a nice rub here. I believe it, everyone's got to be pretty pleased. You came out hot on the last night. Actually, the all eight nights. Aside from whammying us with pitcher autos, I'm, I'm loving it. Nice Joe Adele. I was like, I thought that was a refractor too, and it is an all-Jewish team stud. I haven't pulled a lot of Max Kepler refractors. Very cool. And... Juan Gon may have to send this one to, if he does not have it, Victor Negron. The last card could be for you for the PRPC. I did send Victor an eight breaks uh, goodie package, spoils pack, and it had the Edgar Martinez for the PRPC of this set. Uh, so if you still need the Juan Gon, let me know. A lot of really nice pulls. Okay. Hanukkah Harry, one last time. Why don't you give us a nice edit from the truck and let's give a sweet display of the sweet shenanigans. Thank you for all your hard work out in the truck, Hanukkah Harry. It does not go unnoticed. It is greatly appreciated. You've done wonderful work. This might be, or guarantee, the biggest final display of the polls of the eight breaks. I, we sort of got in late of adding them at the end like this, uh, but I'm very pleased. This is a great haul out of some awesome Chrome boxes. I guess uh, you could nitpick and say the Mega Box uh, didn't really yield anything, which is true, but it's some nice Yordans. So the more he keeps playing All Star, you know, just an all around great hitter, he could uh, still, those could be wind up being amazing cards. Uh, we got some nice rookies. We had wow, three Yordans. I forgot we pulled that. Future Stars. Jeter. We got some nice 86s here. Mountcastle, Joe Adele. But this, I mean, look at that. Spectacular. Double the Tata -ta tonight. Nice Aaron Judge 86. Really love these black and white 
prism, refractor, bespectral, whatever. I don't know. I'm going to put it in a title card probably of what they're called. We did get a non-pitcher auto. Finally. So love all of that. Thank you so much to everyone who watched the live premiere chat. That's been a lot of fun hanging out with people. I'm sorry, actually, I missed the seventh night because I went fishing for the first time in my life and I caught a fish. Uh, it was pretty cool. I'll try to throw a picture of me and my fish uh, up on the community tab, perhaps. Uh, and I ate it that very night. Uh, it was delicious. Me and the verifier got together and had some fresh caught striper. It was awesome. Uh, so there you go, everybody. Please do leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the final night or all of the eight breaks of Hanukkah. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.